Hello, hello, and welcome back, my beautiful moon and stars. This is your girl, Starlight. Let your light shine. And today's video, I want to chat about why people are so attracted to us chosen ones. Why are people so drawn to us? Why are we so magnetic to pretty much everyone, right? You know, I'm sure you guys have wondered this. You know, maybe you looked it up. Maybe you've just been, like, really curious. One big reason why we are so magnetic, we are so attractive to everyone. A lot of people are going to be attracted to us all our whole lives, you know what I mean? Even from a young age, you know? So if you guys are very curious, please stick to the end. But yeah, let's get right into it. Being a chosen one, it's definitely a big responsibility, you know? We're taking on a mission, whatever we are meant to do here on this planet. We're meant to learn what we need to learn. You know, it's hard. We have hardships. We have hard days. It's not an easy road. Being chosen, you know, hearing the call, you know what I mean? Like, it's been put on our soul. It's like our soul's mission. We know what we need to do. We just got to go within, look within, and figure out what that is. And then once we find it, you know, we get to it, right? And, you know, it's a little bit of a path. And, you know, there's detours. There's distractions. And I'm pretty sure you guys can vouch with that. You know, of course, that's the enemy. That's the devil trying to distract y'all from your purpose, from your your mission, you know, what you need, what you're meant to do, what you're supposed to do, <laughs> what God needs you to do here on this planet. You know, you're God's chosen few, you're, you're his elected, we are his elected, and he will not keep you on that road for too long. You know what I mean? The thing is though, you will feel it in your soul that you're on the wrong path and get the heck off. You know what I mean? Eventually. And if not, <laughs> God will surely uh, take you off. You learn to have more discernment, to be within and to your spirit and your soul and your intuition and so you don't really stay and stick around with certain situations and certain people and you're like yeah they're not good i gotta go got a blast bye sorry i went on a little rant there but you know it's very true you know being chosen we are meant to do something big in this world and god has put something within us each and every one of us you know has something very special whether it's you know, we have some kind of talent, you know, whether it's, you know, speaking very well, um, singing, you know, dancing, acting, uh, I don't know, art, you know what I mean? Like some way we express ourselves or just something we have within us. But we all have one thing that we have in common, being a chosen one. God has put his love into us, his love, compassion, his light within us. And that's why I want to get into that today. So why are people so attracted to you? Why are people so attracted to us? Right there, bingo, I just said it, the key word, God's light. His love, his light, his essence is within us. Everywhere we go. I'm pretty sure maybe some of you guys believe in reincarnation and I'm pretty sure y'all have been here many lifetimes. I know I have, I'm a very old soul, you know, very wise in my years, you know, being young, even when I was younger, you know, I always liked hanging out with older people adults, you know what I mean? I was like, I don't like hanging out with kids that much. I like talking to older people, you know? And they even noticed that within me. They're like, you like hanging out with, with us. It's, it's very interesting. I don't know. You guys are probably like that too. But there's a reason for that. Because you're an old soul. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we have been here many lifetimes. I might get into that in another video. But yeah, God's love and light is within us. And that is one big reason why people are so attracted to you. It is your energy. It is God's light, his love that we have within that people are so drawn to. It's like a big light, a moth to a flame, you know, bugs going to that light. You know what I mean? It's just like they can't help it. They can't get enough of it. They can't get enough of our light and our love, you know, our empathy, our compassion, our even our mind. You know what I mean? The way we think, the way we speak, the way we act, just but more so the way we feel, the way we make them feel. And I've noticed this throughout my life, especially now. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you know, when you're around people, when you get around people, friends, family, even acquaintances, you know, new people. Sorry, my hair is going crazy today, guys. <laughs> you know, new people, people that you meet, they start complimenting you, they start saying nice things. You know, they, they say like, hey, I feel really comfortable with you. Like, I really like your energy. I really like you as a person. Like, you really know who you are. Like, you know, like they just like being around you. They're like, oh, you're very different, you know, from a lot of people. Like, you're so authentic in who you are. You know what I mean? You don't give a crap what anyone thinks. 
you know, and they respect you, they respect that, and they see that, and they just, they just love your energy, you know, they, they let you know, you know, I think that's like the one biggest compliment that we get as being divine ones, right, being chosen ones, we get a ton of compliments about our energy, you know, like, oh, we feel so, we feel so good, you know what I mean, to this person, and they let us know, not everybody does, but in their mind, they say it, they like to hide that, <laughs> They don't want to necessarily show us that they really need us or they really want to be with us and they really love our energy. It's an ego thing. Just you don't need to be with them. It's whatever. That's one big key reason why people are so attracted to us is God's light within us. You know, people see it and they recognize it. You know, even from afar, even before like meeting us, even being on the phone, dude. Like on the phone, maybe not text so much, maybe just kind of texting, you know, I've, I've had that here and there, people would tell me things. Maybe you guys have, you know, let me know, but especially being on the phone, I don't know if you guys have noticed, like people would be like, hey, I really like talking to you, like I haven't even met you yet and you're so chill, you're so cool, you're so down to earth, blah, 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 you know what I mean? They say all these nice things and you're like, you know, or they like tell you very personal things, especially on the phone. Like, what the flip? Like, okay, it's it's pretty wild, guys, you know, and I've always like wondered, you know, like throughout my life. I'm like, why do people feel this way about me? It's like now I wake, I've woken up to it, you know, and I've been awoke for a while. And sometimes I'm so fascinated by it when people, you know, tell me stuff like that. I'm sure you guys are, too. But it's like it's it never it never really gets old. The thing is, that you don't even really need to be an energetic person for them to feel this energy they just feel it automatically when they're with you right because i'm very like i don't say i'm timid or anything but i'm i'm pretty quiet could be my taurus moon i don't know but i'm very you know i keep to myself you know i'm not very loud i mean with friends and stuff you know i have my moments right i can go out and have fun right but i'm very like calm content at peace you know what i mean and i think that's what they're feeling they're feeling that peace and that like good vibes coming off of me and maybe you guys are some you know some of you guys are like this you know you guys are very quiet content to yourself you know you're not very extroverted you know but even when you're extroverted people feel that love and light from you but you're just you, you know you put it more out into the universe <laughs> you know when you meet people another reason why i think i have like two big reasons why people are attracted to us um number one was our light and our love and our energy it's the biggest one and the second one, sorry, I put one. The second reason <laughs> I believe why people are so attracted to us, of course, number one, it's our energy. But I do believe people are attracted to us because when we're doing good, we have a lot of good things happening in our life, abundance, money, love, success, right? In all areas of our life. And we're doing good, we're shining bright. We're doing our thing, right? We're not bugging anyone. We're minding our freaking business because that's that's what we're about. You know, mind your business, right? Like, you know, why, why do we need drama and chaos? Like, we don't want that. We just want to live a very peaceful, happy life and help people. And that's it. <laughs> you don't have abundance and do what we want to do. You know what I mean? Live in this beautiful world that God gave us. Like, you know what I mean? He wants us to live this awesome life. Being chosen ones, being, you know, for anyone. You know what I mean? He wants to work hard, put in the work. But I do believe people are attracted to us you know, when they see us doing good, all this abundance, all these good things are happening for us, is to use us. They try to get into our life, of course, because they're attracted to all those things. They're attracted to abundance. People are attracted to money. They want that. And then they see that we have it, right? And they're like, oh, wow. And of course, they're attracted to us, you know, physically, you know, emotionally, right? But there are bad people, bad intentions, narcissists, toxic people, whatever you want to call it, these bad people that are going to try and come into your life and steal that away from you, or at least take some of it, right? For their, for their own game, because they don't care. Because they see you have it, they see you doing good, they see you doing your thing, and they get jealous. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage. You know what I mean? And they take advantage of you. They take what they want from you, and that's it. And then they leave, or they just keep coming back for more. Because they, they can see when they hang out with you, because obviously they're attracted to you, but they haven't bad intentions and they're attracted to all those good things that's in your life, that you're accumulating, you're manifesting this. This is all your rewards. This is, these are your blessings, not theirs. 
but they're trying they're gonna try and steal it away from you you know and they see that when they do hang out with you you know when when an average normal person hangs out with a chosen one you know like you guys myself i don't know if you guys notice good things start to happen for them you know and let's say they they do have bad intentions but good things are still gonna happen to them because it's like they're kind of getting our energy they're getting that good vibrational energy and it's kind of rubbing off off of us onto them right so they're getting a little bit of what we have like a little bit of our magic is what i like to call it <laughs> they're like stealing our magic away you know this is a very surprising one <laughs> i think it's very surprising it's very interesting but there are bad people who will try and steal what we have because they're so attracted to what we have in our life you know and let's say they are attracted to us but there's people who just don't care you know they just want to be with us sleep with us one night or whatever get what they want you know get it take it you know whatever and then leave us behind or they keep coming back for more because they start noticing good things are happening to them so very interesting <laughs> i think but yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that video i will see you guys in the next one please take care of yourself love yourself as always catch you later <laughs> bye